Hi there! Today I'm going to coach you on how to plan and furnish a small apartment. Alright, let's go. We'll start with the bedroom. Okay, so for the bedroom, it's very small as you can see here. Um, it's about it's eight seven feet deep plus fifteen inches there, so about nine and a half feet. And you see, there's a little kind of nook here. Um, so what we were thinking of doing is instead of a headboard, let's go with a console. And so the console offers more storage, um, and it's high enough so that it gives you a bit of a back here to kind of lean on it, um, and it gives you also some space at the top to put a lamp, books, whatever you need uh, before bedtime. And as you can see, the flow stays the same as you walk into the apartment. You don't really see the bed, which is nice. It kind of gives it its separate room. Um, and so good use of space here. Now, uh, you can add like a, a lamp here on the console. You can also have a little floor lamp here if you want uh, on the corner. So that's also um, a good way to do it. And let's pick a bed that has space under. So you can actually put uh, some storage underneath uh, the bed here. And it hides uh, a lot of stuff, actually. Um, if you don't use the drawers uh, from Ikea, uh, please buy a bed skirt. And so you can really hide everything here. Because when you move to the living room here, which we're going to do right now, the couch, we want to put the couch here. So you have a good view on the bed. So. You want to make sure that it's it's neat and tidy underneath there. Um, we're going to start with a rug. So I would buy a 5x7 rug here to really delimitate the space of your living room. So it really kind of sets uh, the, the space for the living room. And the sofa, uh, we're going to pick 65 inches here. So it's a smaller sofa. So it's more of a love seat, really. Um, but it's really nice uh, for this space. Again, when it's a small space like that, let's pick something that you can see underneath, so on legs. Not like a couch or a sofa that is all the way to the ground, like that is too bulky for a small space. So on legs is great. Um, and then here we can actually put one of those little IKEA bookshelf uh, on wheels. So the good thing with this is that you can leave it there and when you need it, you can basically, <laughs> it's not on wheels right now, you can actually move it around here and it's a nice coffee table. So you can move it around as, as you need. And the rug is uh, a nice, also neutral color, the same as the sofa. And the reason why I picked those colors for you today is that these are big pieces, big perches. So you want to be able to bring them with you when you move on to a bigger apartment with someone else, um, in a house, whatever it is <laughs> that the journey your journey takes you on, um, you want to be able to reuse this furniture and maybe uh, match it with something else. So a neutral color. So if you don't like white sofa, you can go with like a, a darker beige. Um, a dark blue is also a neutral. A gray, of course, is a neutral. So you can do that uh, here. So in this area here, like here, I would suggest to paint a couple of walls. I would suggest this one here and this one here. And to give you the illusion a bit more space, I would go in the darker uh, color of this kind of rosé, uh, which have a bit of a brown undertone, so it's nice and warm. And so I would go like this. And you can see the art that I pick for both have those kind of, they kind of speak to each other. So they have the same, uh, from the same collection, and they have those uh, pinky tones on this. In the living room, you're going to notice there's a bit of blue in it. And the reason is that as we move into the kitchen, we're going to move into more of blue because um, it is nice in the kitchen. It's nice and fresh for the kitchen. And again, here I would have a rug under the dining table. This one is from Ruggable. Amazing because you can wash them, which is super convenient under a table. Um, and I've picked the same rug um, here uh, that would be in the entryway and so for the table here I would suggest um, a higher table so count it up high um, the one I chose for you today is one from Ikea so you put it together the legs are telescopic 
so they can move up and down. So if you move somewhere else again, it's a piece that you can go bring down to create a desk or a dining table at the dining table height. But for this space specifically, uh, because it's so small and you need more prep space, uh, counter height is going to give you that kind of uh, alley kitchen, gallery kitchen style where you can actually move around here and prep uh, for dinner on the, on the table as well as the counter here. And so two nice uh, bar stools. We're going to complete the look. I've picked gold just to add a little glam into that area, um, which is great. One more little note here. In the condo, usually there's a lot of concrete. So the rug, if you pick a few rugs, it's going to help with the echo sound. So it's going to really kind of muffle the sound a little bit and it's going to feel uh, more at home. So let's move into uh, the entryway. So again, rug from Ruggable, uh, same collection, so a bit of continuity. And here, very, very simple, a coat rack on wheels again, so you can move it around uh, with the little pockets where you can put your shoes on. Um, you put, put your shoes in there. We know that uh, shoes are always hand up over here around the door, so like an easy, peasy place to put them in is always welcome. So this is it for uh, this floor plan. So let's move. And I hope you like uh, planning this 340 square feet condo with me. So I will list all the items that I've shown you in the description below. Uh, please like and subscribe if you wish to. And um, let me know in the comments what you would like me to cover next. So, à bientôt!